Hello, welcome to Football Tenable, the series in which you're looking for 10 different things from a football related category. And today, we're joined by Fiago. How are you doing? Great, great, mate. Uh, looking forward to this. Not sure if I can beat you there, but I think I've got some sweet categories. Yeah, that's that's the fun of it, really. It's it, when you break it down into the individual categories, some of the shouts that, you know, maybe you don't win the episode, but if you can throw out a great answer, that's, you know, what we're looking for. Your first category, I'll throw you straight in. What I'd like you to name me are 10 British players to play in the Bundesliga. Oh. So you've got not... England, Scotland, Wales. Okay, so that's not like the 10 last British players. It's just No, it could be all time, literally all time, at ah, any time in the Bundesliga. Okay, I'm not into this 10 so. game yet. I, like, what, for mine, I've always picked like the 10 last. So I no, no, hope that's not a problem, but... No, no, okay. that's fine. I mean, it's obviously Harry Kane. That's obviously the... There you go. There's the first one. Eric Dyer as well. Yep, get the uh, two for one. There's a lot of recent English ones. Uh, Jaden. Sancho, Reese Nelson, that's four. There you go. And where was Reese Nelson? He was at... He was um, at Hoffenheim. That was yeah, it, he played yeah. pretty, pretty well. One season well, was pretty good. Let's go Owen Hargraves for Bayern. Very nice one. He, he could have played for about four different nations, yeah. I think. Like Canada, England, and then I don't know if he could have played for well, Scotland. Wales and Wales. Germany as well. Germany as <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, he was eligible for all four and chose Mad. England. So. so that's five. Then mm -hmm. we got a Scottish guy, maybe. That would be cool. Let's go... Go Jamie Bino Gittens, Dortmund. There we go. That's a very good one. That's Current six. At Dortmund. Then we've got. Surprised Spri you've not said one so far. Your club. Oh, I yeah. tried to just forget about everything we've done in the past ten years. <laughs> I mean, you're going back further than that for this. Uh, well, I, 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 I'm just thinking of the recent ones right now. Actually, um, mm -hmm. why am I so lost right now? I thought it was going to be so easy, and this is so easy. I've only got six British players in the Bundesliga. How is that possible, man? You, you missed another one, big one as well. I, I've, I've, even I've forgotten how big this I mean, was. Yeah, okay. I mean, Jude Bellingham, obviously. There we go. Yeah, that's obviously, obviously, that's that's. If I hadn't known that one, that would have been if in doubt. Yeah. But there were more at Dortmund as well. Oh yeah, I mean Kevin Keegan for Hamburg, obviously. There so if we go, go, if, we go if we go that, if we go back that way, uh, that much, obviously, yeah. I mean that would have been funny had I forgot him. I could imagine there were some in the in the in the eighties after English clubs got banned from Europe for five mm. years. There must have been some. Yeah, there's definitely one here that goes into that column. That's the Welshman, anyway. Wasn't he at Man United and then came to Bayern? That's the one. Yeah, but, but can, I can't. Can I, you think of the player? I can't remember the name. There's a great fact about him as well that he played for the Bundesliga team and Wales in the same day. Oh yeah, I, 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 I heard about that. Everyone in the comments now knows because I bring up that fact every time I bring him yeah. up. If you tell me the name, I'm going to be like, ah. Uh. Yeah, I've got three lines, so you can take some guesses at some Welsh names. It's quite a Welsh name, I'll give you that. It's not the long name with the f 52 letters, right? No, no, no. It's uh, <laughs> it's not that place. Oh, uh, Ryan Kent for, for Freiburg. There's a good one. 1718 at Freiburg. Yeah. Loaned from Liverpool, I think. Yeah. That's nine. And then we, we need more. one more. One more. Mm, Freiburg, Hoffenheim, uh, Leipzig. Yeah, Leipzig have had one. They signed him for a lot of money, I think from Forest or something. I think that's a Scottish guy as well. Ooh, what was his name? He still plays somewhere in lower divisions in England, I think. It's Smith Rowe. He was at Leipzig as well. Loaned out from Arsenal. He was indeed. ML Smith Rowe for the full term. Well done. <laughs> oh, man. That one... was, you gave me a lot of bonus time. I appreciate that. Uh, what was fine. the winger called? The winger was uh, Oliver Burke. Burke, yeah, yeah, Scottish, yeah, Oliver Burke. Yeah. They signed him for yeah, like 18 million or something. They bought him from Forest and then they sold him to West Brom. And yeah. then even West Brom, I don't know how he kept his value, to be honest, because he was, he's, he's he really was, not... Yeah, they, they kept selling him around for about the same money, right? But yeah, there was a lot yeah. of English guys. Uh, what was the Welsh guy called now? The Welshman was Mark Hughes. Mark Hughes, the, uh, oh yeah. Manchester City manager, QPR, Stoke. Yeah. He's done a lot course. of jobs in England. Of course. But yeah, he played for Wales and Bayern Munich in the same day, as everyone knows on this channel now. What a story, you know, now I know as well. A few others you could have said. Callum Hudson at Doi oh, yeah. at uh, Leverkusen. True. Then you've got Ryan Sessegnon at uh, Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim as well. Reese Oxford at Augsburg. Paul Lambert is the probably other Scottish one because he won. He the, was in Germany. Uh, yeah, he, was, he, played, he won the Champions League for them in like 96 or 97. Uh, what club? They won it. At Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund he was he a was one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. There's a fun little one. Very nice. Full 10 for the first one. You're going to get full 10 as well, I think. Lovely. Mine is uh, the last 10 Premier League young players of the year. Ooh. Is that hard? Is that easy? I, I can't tell if that's... It's always questionable because obviously you've got to go through... Yeah, trying to think through the years, what would realistically be somebody like probably won it at the last 10. That's so like 2014 onwards. So yeah. I can just say players that have. It's actually a bit more because some have won it multiple times. Yeah, that's true. Last 10 players, player of the year. 
Young Player of the Year. We will start off with, I just want to make sure I get a right answer to start. <laughs> Who's got it most recently? It's one of those awards, though, that it could go to so many different players. Mm -hmm. In my head, I want to say Rico Lewis, but I don't think that makes sense because he didn't really play much last season. Mm -hmm. Who else would knock around? Let's just try one for probably a few years back. I used to, I, I'd hope he'd have one. Is uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold tenable? Yes. Yes. There we go. In uh, 2020. See, that's quite recent for saying, you know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's actually sometimes players that are already stars, but that are still fall under the age category, so. I assume it's under 23 then? I think so, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, let's try Marcus Rashford. He has never won it, actually. Never won it? No. Wow. I mean, he did have a bit of a weird form. Like, he burst onto the scene, then he kind of dipped mm. a bit, and then he's come back. Yeah, never really stay consistent at first. No. Would he have won it for that season when he, again, it's whether he's under 23. Three Harry Kane for that year with Spurs. Yes, 2015 Harry Kane mm. for his. Is that tenable? Yeah, tenable. There we go. Cool. What's the if you can give me what's the earliest year? That <laughs> it's uh, 2012. 2012. So I'm only, I'm only just yeah. Yeah, there's actually quite a few Spurs players in there. Yeah, let's try Deli Alley then. Correct. Won it twice, yeah, 2016 yeah. and 2017. Very nice. I hope he can get his career. Yeah. Is he only like 28, he's... I want to say? Uh, yeah, I think he's born in 96. I think he just needs to find a club that will play mm. him consistently. He just gets a Gives him the trust, he's, yeah. With Everton, obviously, kind of in a relegation battle, it's tricky for them to gamble with him. Yeah. Oh, let's try yeah, Saka, surely. Yes. He okay. mo most recently won it, 2023. Fair enough. So you got four six to go let's let's try phil foden yes also won there it twice go. 2021 and 2022 now we're on a roll yeah now you're on a roll i can tell you the years you still need you don't have them yep. in mind 2019 2018 2014 13 and 12. i don't know why danny welbeck just flashed in my brain <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm not i'm not gonna give him his an yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy is there any non-english on the list i don't know if that's a there bit is a... There is, Out of the yeah, five, there is three non-English. I guess it could be like Scottish, Irish, Welsh. Mm -hmm. Scottish and Irish, not really, but I mean, it could be, but it, it's not. No. <laughs> a young Welshman. I'll try Gareth Bale. Of course, 2013. Really? Yeah. Very nice. See, in my head, Gareth Bale was about, because I saw Gareth Bale in like 2006 and seven play against Derby. Oh, wow. In the for playoff semi-final for Southampton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So for the fact that he's young player of the season, like yeah. six years later. I think he was. 23 actually when you won that was his last Premier League season That's yeah so we got two enough. more English players and two non-English players I recently started a football manager save in the 07-08 season when Derby got 11 points wow to try and beat the record wow I beat it after 11 games <laughs> I got like wins against Portsmouth and Fulham like just it, it's a simple job just do it in real life please so all the players from back that era like Nanny for example I didn't realise was like 20 when he joined mm -hmm. United and why I keep going back to Man United I just can't get Man United out of my head Probably not the right place to look. No, no, he's probably not. Arsenal's not a bad bet, to be honest. Ah, uh, probably, probably also not the right place. No, I'm trying to think who would be young because I've got so I've got eighteen, nineteen, still have an ass. So yeah, that's relatively recent. 18, 17, 18 and eighteen, nineteen. So the two yeah. pretty crazy city seasons could be one from that team. I can't, I can't even think of a city <laughs> player that was young then. Let's just try Carl, Carl Walker. Just throw yeah. him out. That's probably an old. Is it? Is yeah, actually that's right? actually correct. That's actually that, correct. Two thousand twelve. Yeah. Oh, it's two thousand. I, I thought for twenty eighteen. I was about to say. No. Jesus. <laughs> Let's try Jao Cancelo. Nope. No, I was just thinking non. Non-English one, right? Yeah. Final life. We have two non-English ones now and one English one. Yeah. They're all from blue teams, let's say that. I literally thought of Moise Keane for a second. I was like, no, there's no chance he's getting it with Everton. I'm really struggling with those years at City, like the City dominance years. They're both not at City anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. But they were pretty big transfers. Can't even think of like an educated guess. Then maybe you start with the 2014 one. Oh, that's one of the non-English ones. I'm just going to say N'Golo Kante so we can move on with our lives. It's not going to be Kante, but... It's Eden Hazard. It's Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. Yeah. There we go. 2018 mm -hmm. was Leroy Sané. Yeah, that and makes sense. 2019 was Raheem Sterling. Sterling in 2019. It was like 24, 25 already. But yeah, he won it. I would have never said Raheem Sterling. I Me mean, neither before looking that up. The fact that he's a 25-year-old in a young birth year. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... It's, I don't know how they make those rules. Right, for your next category, I will give you the 2022 Europa League final, Eintracht Frankfurt versus Rangers. What I'd like to name me is the Frankfurt starting 11. Well, starting 10, basically, outfield. That's interesting. That's yeah. cool. Well, that final was great, that season overall. Mm -hmm. I watched a lot of Eintracht games. Uh, I, mean, I watched all the Eintracht games on TV, so should I should know that. I mean, I also watched mm. one in the stadium. But the final, were there any suspensions? I mean, in, in defence... 
should have Hinteregger. Oh, he was suspended no, for the final. So he should have Okay, that's the first life <laughs> yeah. gone then. Did they start Hasebe? Makoto Hasebe? 40 years of age or something? Was that my second life gone? Yeah, I guess I kind of have to take your life for that. Okay, well. Gone for it. Who did they start in, the, in defense then? Well, they did start Philip Kostic though. Yes, he did in the uh, left wing back role. Yeah. They also started Ansgar Knauf. Yep, at uh, right, right wing right back. Wing, yeah. Yeah. Did they start we'll Rafael Boré? Yep, Boré up front Rafael Boré. for them. Then in midfield, I don't know if they started him, but I hope they did. I, I'm just going to say they started so. Yeah, Dribble So in the so. midfield. He was so good that season. It was so good. So good, yeah. There you go, you got the joke. Well, I'm nervous now. I need to rethink every player before making my choice. It's a start. Uta. Tuta, the uh, centre-back. Uh, Tuta, Tuta, sorry. I was, but I think they started both, though. I heard Tuta. Yeah. Did you not say? I, I meant Tuta, but they also signed Buta, I think, the year after that. So, I, no, not oh, Buta. Right. Tuta. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah Tuta, Tuta counts. <laughs> okay. They also probably started Ndika. Yep, Evan and Dika. Dika, okay, so that, that's the defense then. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dika, Tuta, Kostic. We got Knauf, we got Bore, we got So, and we have, hopefully, Jakic. They start him. No, unfortunately, he came off the bench no. in the 90th minute for the captain, Sebastian Roda. Yeah, of Started course, Roda, Roda would have been a pick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I uh, think I got Torre six or something. Torre. was just behind the strike. He had Kamada, who's obviously Kamada, gone to Lazio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next to him is Lindstrom, Jesper Lindstrom. Now Where's he at well. now? He's gone to Napoli. Napo yeah, yeah, Napoli, yeah. That was yeah. a cool team. Knocked out Barca. That was a good yeah. season. I was going to give you the word of Bremen 2009 as well, but I thought that was a bit too tricky. That's going back quite a bit now. That's a bit harsh as well. They knocked us out in the semis as well. Yeah, there's like Ozil in that team, Naldo, stuff like that. A good team as well. Mm -hmm. Well, talking about Europa League, yep. are you ready for your next tenable? Because I've got a Europa League themed one. Lovely. So I want you to tell me the last 10 Europa League champions. Pretty simple, right? <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, actually, also that it goes back. It's go, it goes back quite a lot because there's yeah, a team Sevilla. that won it a couple let's of times. Go for Sevilla. Yeah, let's <laughs> go for Sevilla first. <laughs> let's remove them about Correct. 16 times. They won the, it uh... seven times in the yep. in, in the last 10. It is kind of mental. Teams. How? And the first one was uh, in 2006. So that's also the earliest date that we have in this tenable yeah it's, re it's really weird how dominated that competition yeah. <laughs> over and over and More over. More than seven times since 2006. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this season, in my opinion, the Europa League is more interesting than the Champions so League good, with man. the teams that are involved. Yes. Because you've got, in my head, by Leverkusen, Liverpool are probably the favourites. And then you still got you've Milan. even got Roma, you know. Yeah, still, Roma, Milan. Yeah. So many legendary teams. Mm -hmm. We will say for the next one, Manchester United for a winner. Correct. 2017. Mm, yeah. So Sevilla. Oh, yeah. One, one that beat Man United more recently. I think it was Oli as the manager. Villarreal. Yep, with Unai Emery. That's the thing with the conference that you get. If, if Villa don't win, that'll be quite surprised yeah. with what's left in there. They should, they're, they're the best team by far. Yeah. Let's go for Chelsea next against Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Won it twice. Yes. 2013 yeah. as well. Against, I think, Benfica? I'm not sure, though. So you said the Sevilla 2006 win counts in the yep. last 10. That's the first that one. That counts. So. so I've got to go 2007, 2008, 2009. 2007 well, was also, it was also Sevilla. Yeah, but I, I so <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will go for a bit of Atletico Madrid as we did yeah. talk about it. Three times as well. 2010, 12 and 18. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to give this as an answer. I, I kind of have to give it as an answer because it is the last 10, isn't it? But I've, I'm literally looking at the Shaq Dordanesque World of Bread and Fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. So I, can't get, I can't get Shaq to Shaq in there, 2009. Oh, six so far, four to go. Mm -hmm. So you need, if I can tell you the names, uh, the years, you need 2005, 8, yep. 11, and 22. Well, 22 is kind of easy because we talked about it before. Yeah, let's go for uh, a track from here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now only yeah. only proper old ones. 5, 8, and 11. I know that Middlesbrough got to a final around that era. I'm just trying to think. I'm sure they got Atletico Madrid in the final. That might be like 04, to be honest. I know. Oh, there's a couple of Russian teams, isn't there? It's getting the right ones. Mm -hmm. oh, 8 and 11, I think. The 05 is the question mark. That could be like a Valencia or something like that. But we'll go for one of the Russian teams. Let's try CSK Moscow. Correct. That is the 2005 one. Go. That is actually the 05 one. Yeah, I've got that's me the 05 mixed one. up then. <laughs> ah, wait. No. 
did they? No, one year it was a Portuguese final. Braga against Benfica. Was it Braga Benfica or was it Braga Porto? I'll, go, I'll, I'll put Benfica as the answer now, but I'll... Benfica is not in the, in the not, last 10, no. sadly. It's not tenable, sadly. No, let's go for Porto then. Porto isn't tenable either. Not ten oh, what sorry. Yes, they are. they are. They are. Yeah, they are. I was about to 2011. say. Like... 2011. There sorry. We go. One more to go. 2008, which I think is the Russian team again. You're doing well, man. Which, that's, that's a good one. Which other Russian team would it be? <laughs> I mean, you got be. two lives, so you have you, you. Yeah, that's what I mean. I could throw out some two. teams. Let's try Zenit St. Petersburg. That is correct. That is the actual yes, one. Yes, that is the actual one. Not bad. Wow, you got everything. Just one life gone. Yeah. That is it's impressive. Right then, into your final category. What I'd like you to name me are the top 10 German players to appear in the Premier League. Top 10 means most appearances? Yep, most appearances Ooh. in the Premier League. Okay, that's only Premier League era, right? No first division. No, 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 1993 onwards. Okay, so no, no uh, Bert Trautmann, 500 no. games for City or something. Okay, I think the one with the most appearances actually is Robert Huth. It is Robert Huth with the most. He's played for a lot of clubs yeah. as well in the, uh, Stoke, the Leicester, Football League. Middlesbrough. Uh, Middlesbrough well yeah i think yeah right. uh, that's that should be number one um great player right. then we got probably ozil has to be in there meza ozil is number five on the list number five with 184 like, okay I, I was guessing like 200 okay and then mm. we may, might even be second by now ilkay gundogan gundogan or maybe third is... i don't know but he should be he's in there for sure he's number fourth he's got more than ozil oh, by four appearances wow 188 88 now so there's two that yeah. have more than 188 mm -hmm. robert hooth actually won the premier league three times twice with Chelsea and once really with uh, oh, yeah. Leicester I didn't remember you won it twice with Chelsea nah I didn't I didn't think you got that many there has to be Per Mertesacker World Cup winner Per Mertesacker is number seven on the number list number seven yeah I missed that era of Arsenal of, yeah like, that was that Wenger's. was cool. it was really interesting just to see Wenger like put together these like different bits of bobs just at the end of his career and still still like win the FA and Cup still, yeah whatnot. still do solid still do decent I mean yeah. they were Arsenal fans were complaining but season. they weren't doing horrible mm-hmm Okay, we got maybe another Arsenal player. No, I don't think there's another Arsenal. Maybe a current player. Leroy Sané didn't play enough games for City. Kai Havertz hasn't played enough games in the Premier League yet, has he? I don't know. Maybe Kai Havertz might be 10th by now, but I'm. it's kind of a punt. I'm not sure. I'm going to go Michel Balak. He's surely in the top 10, is he? He's got over 100 appearances. Is that enough for top but 10? But he's not tenable. He's no! 15th on the list, unfortunately. Aye, okay. It's not, yeah. He's not in the top 10. No. Nah. That's interesting. Jens Lehmann has to be in the top 10. Jens Lehmann is tenable. Yes. He is number eight on the list. Okay, with 148. Okay. Gundogan, you said, was number number four, right? Yeah, Gundogan four with 188. So he's still missing two, three, six, nine, and ten. Two, three, six, nine, and ten. Mm. Two and three must be must be so easy, actually. I'm thinking maybe, maybe also some 90s players. I don't think any Germans stayed long enough in the Premier League in the 90s to... It, it truly has to be recent ones going through the teams. At Man United, I can't think of any German player that stayed long enough to be in this top 10. At Chelsea, there's Balak. It was Havertz, but he didn't play enough games, I think. Rudiger? No, surely not. And we got Arsenal. We got already got Özil. Already got Lehmann, Mertesacker. Then we got Spurs? Nah. I mean, Klinsmann played, I think, only one season for Spurs, but he was good. Mm -hmm. City, sure, we got Gundogan, we got Zane, but he wasn't, he didn't play enough games. And then what? I mean, Liverpool. Liverpool. I don't know if Emre, Emre Can, no. Nah. Any other Liverpool player? Oh, uh, maybe. I'm going to go for Thomas Hitzelsberger. Did he play enough games in the Premier League? It's a nice one. And he is not tenable. He's no. 12th on the list. So Shit. close with 117. Oh, There's two current. I'll give you that. Two current Premier League players. That are still tenable that I haven't named yet. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You've mentioned the club of one of them, but not the other. Not even mentioned. So it's not a top six club then. Mm. Oh, Pascal Gross for Brighton. There we go. There we go. I, I, I was going to say he's not really played much in the, uh, in the national, national team, team yeah. but he did. He, he has recently played it four times in 2023. Yeah, he's probably going to be at the Euros. He's actually number three on the list, which wow. is actually, that is kind of crazy. He's, he's got two. I don't, I don't quite get how that works because Brighton even been, they must, yeah, that is really, in my head, Brighton playing 200 games in the Premier League doesn't make That's sense. That's mad. I mean, ever since they yeah. got promoted, I think they didn't, yeah, go, every they single didn't season. go back relegated, did they? No, he's been, he's he's been, been there, there since uh, the, 2017, yeah. 18. So we still need the number two. I mean, if Gros, Gros has over 200 games, then there's not going to be there's not going to be a Kai Havertz number two or anything. I'm thinking Antonio Rudiger right the, now. He played for Chelsea, I think, from 2018 
16 or 17 to 2022. Is that enough? Probably not. But there's a current player at a top six Premier League club, probably, because I only named top six teams before. Maybe his former team was a top six, but okay. he's no longer out of top six team. Okay. I don't want to make it too complicated for you. Okay, 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 okay. He was a, he's still in the Premier League at a smaller team then and played a lot of games for a top six team. Ooh. Maybe it's Bernd Leno for Arsenal and now at Fulham. I think it's Bernd Leno. I think he's in there. You going for Leno? I'm going for Leno. Bernd Leno is set yes. He's number six on the list. That's a good one. Number six on the list. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the, the, the rest of the players, then there's three left. They're retired players then, obviously. I, I mean, I, I assume. Um, I'm not sure if you could tell me, but I, I'm just assuming that for myself. Oh, they're not in the Premier I mean, League anymore, probably. Yeah, no, no longer Prem. Yeah. There is only one, yeah, one active player. The rest are retired now. Mm -hmm. but number 10 is very tricky. Number two, you'll, it's tricky, but you could probably get there. And then number nine is probably the, number nine is the current active one. I'll give you that. Okay. It, it could be a guy that's really overlooked in Germany that plays for Brent Italianus, but I'm not gonna that's not my guess yet I'm just thinking about him loudly number two has 268 Premier League games that's a ton and I assume he's, that was in the early 2000s then. Yeah, he's got a great fact about him as well. I mean, there's a couple of uh, Germans that played for Liverpool in the early 2000s, like Hamann and Babel. I don't know if they made enough games, to be fair, though. I don't think they played enough games to be number two. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to take a punt and say Didi Hamann for Liverpool. Didi Hamann at Liverpool and Manchester City and Bolton is uh, terrible. He's yes. just got Newcastle on as well. Yeah, he's, oh, he's did he play for Bolton and you guys? I didn't remember that. He technically did signed for Bolton but I don't think he got any games for him okay because um, he went I don't know how that works to be honest he went to Bolton but then City signed him that's wow. really weird I didn't remember I'll that I'll have to look into that he's number two on the list he is the number two games. yeah yeah wow, 268 so oh that's good mm -hmm. that's good that's good his fun little fact is he scored the last ever goal at the uh, old Wembley oh that long shot against Germany okay wait uh, against who uh, against England okay that, uh, that was against England yeah uh, he's like a meme in Germany now because he's a pundit and everybody hates him as a pundit <laughs> yeah Jermaine genius of Germany <laughs> I'm thinking, stupid call, but I'm thinking Mustafi. You go for Mustafi? Yeah. World no. Cup winner. It's not Mustafi, is it? It's not Senegal. Uh, there, that's your final life gun. To be honest, that's not even a bad shout because he's got like a good, yeah, 100 and how many games for Arsenal? Wasn't was he at Everton as well? Or was that only on youth level? He got a cup game appearance, but uh, nothing. He joined Arsenal in 2016. I think. Must be after well, yeah, 2016. He played a lot yeah. of games in the like, first two years, but after that, probably mm -hmm. not. Many. 102, to be fair. Number 11 was Kai Havertz, so it he will go into the number 11. 10 quite okay. soon. He was 11th, Kai Havertz. Okay. Number nine, you did say him quite a few times. What did I say quite a few times? That's still a current defender. Ah, uh, Rudiger. 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 Ah, it was yeah. Rudiger. Shit. 133. Ah. And number 10 is a Fulham defender. Okay. In the early 2000s. What's his name? Moritz Vols. I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. He's such a okay. niche. So, yeah. Yeah, not bad. I think you've done quite well with that. Yeah. Eight. Is, I'm, I'm content. Mm hmm. Now you got yours, um, which is, I don't know if it's hard because it's yeah. another award category. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the last 10 Euro play of the tournament. As we are heading into another Euro, it goes back to 1984 now. So 2021 is the most recent one. 1984 is the oldest one. I have to say, I thought it, this was going to be very hard, but mostly it's like the players you Big remember yeah. you remember standing out from that era. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Euro 20. 20, well, 2020, but it was in 21. See, that's the weird one that, like, in a way, is more tricky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2021, I have to say, is not that obvious. It mm. is an Italy player, but it's still not that obvious. Yeah. Maybe you start with some easier ones. Mm -hmm. 2016, poor... I think a Frenchman would in 2016. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say Griezmann. That's correct. There we go. Yeah, he was brilliant there. Such an underrated player. I don't think people appreciate what he does. Not at all, yeah. 2012. To be fair, it's always a player of the winning team it was never a playoff yeah. okay okay that's yeah. that's good that may, may help uh, other than Griezmann I assume then because yeah, assume... yeah yeah other than Griezmann yeah. now from now right. on it's always <laughs> a playoff the winning team okay oh an Italian I'm thinking uh, Italian it's either like Chiellini's or Insigne or Benucci maybe could be like oh it could be Locatelli he had a good tournament so many for that Italy team yeah that's a lot I, I, I think that one's actually one of the one of the hardest trickier yeah, one of the yeah. Trickiest. don't remember the recent stuff it's the stuff like 10 years ago 2012 12, Spain again so many players in that team you got mm -hmm. Torres any of the midfield 2008 would be Spain again <laughs> yeah it's two different Spanish players though two of the big ones weirdly I, might, I think might be maybe the Greek in 2004 might be the easiest 
Really? It's the bold guy. Is it, is it the bold guy or is it the one with the beard? <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I remember the Greek team from 2004. He was the, he was a German manager, wasn't it, for that tournament? Yeah. Otto Rehagel, yeah. That was it. I, I, I watched a two-hour documentary on him. I don't know why. Yeah, well, that was a, one hell of a story. Yeah. Oh, who would it be? I don't think it's Stelios Yanakopoulos or whatever his name is. No. Nope. It's like Torresidis, but it's not. It's, oh, it's it ends with this, with IS. Yeah. As most of them do. <laughs> As they all do. <laughs> and then going back to Tazan, we got France. Yeah, uh, that's it. You say that, but then would it be would it be Zidane? Yeah. Would it be Henri? Is it Zidane? It's Zidane. Go for Zidane. I've already got that cross for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got that Hopefully. logged in, yeah. Germany won 96, didn't they? Yeah. Which of the Germans? Klinsmann, uh, Stefan. Can't really say his name on YouTube. Who else would be in that team? I mean, there was a guy that's, that also won the Ballon d'Or that year. Ah, there we go. Is it Sammer? Yes. There we go. You've, you've nice me with that. <laughs> Very nice. I, I wouldn't have said him if he didn't say that, basically. I would have gone for, like, Lothar Matthias or something. He wasn't there. Was he not even there? No. That's what I mean. 92 would be Denmark then. Yep. One of the loud drops didn't go. Or it would have been Schmeichel. I don't know why. You wouldn't give it a goalie, would you, player? That he'd get golden glove, wouldn't he? Well, is that your answer? Yeah, I'll go Schmeichel. It's correct. I'm amazed at that. Let me say they they've given it to a keeper on another occasion as well. Ah, I wonder if in one of those Spanish ones, or maybe you're thinking <coughs> before that in like '88 or '84. I'm gonna struggle with those in the '80s. Well, the '88 one is not not that obvious, maybe, but the '84 one, in my opinion, is kind of the guy to pick. 1984 winner. Was it Germany? Nope. Italy? No. no they, they won the 82 World Cup, that yeah. was it. And then after that, he would have done well. Oh, Dingy would have won the 88 one, uh, Netherlands. Yeah. So Netherlands 88, you've got Ullitz, you've got Van Basten. I'll just say Hullet, let's try. Nope, no, not quite. Not Hullet, we'll try Van Basten. Yes. Got one, two, three, four, five. You need 84, you need... 2004, 8, 12, and 21. Mm -hmm. It might be just going for the Spanish ones because I've only got two lives. Maybe a crossover that did both. Yeah, let's try Ika Casillas. No. No. So that's your, your last life. Let me say the goalie came later. Later? Yeah. Ah, is it, is it Gianluigi Donnarumma? Yes, you won it for Italy. There we go. I mean, you did win the penalty shootout, yeah. I guess. So yeah, that does make sense. So I've got six. How many do I need to win the episode? There's a thought. I think I got six, 24. eight, and ten. So I got 24, yeah. yeah and 24. you have 10, 17, 17. 19, so you need eight here. To win, right? I got 17. Good. Yeah, so now you need eight and you're on six. So you need two more to win. Two more, but one more life. Can he do it? Can he do it? Not giving any hints anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, nah, don't, don't, don't give me any more. The comments hate me when I give clues to the guests. They're okay. like, oh, you shouldn't help him. You should just let him suffer and sit there in silence. <laughs> okay. Who won it in 1984 then? Oh, ah, ah. I think he's the one, isn't he? He's the Frenchman. But you're going to give me. Because they won it, didn't yeah. they? Which yeah. Frenchman? Michel Platini. Yes. Yeah. You need one more. I don't know why I remember. Like, Platini is such a... I've not really watched him play, but obviously a lot of people... Like, Zidane absolutely loves him. Yeah, um, that says a lot. Oh, so... Greek or a Spaniard to win it. Yes. The only thing is I can I can see the Greek's face and when you say his name, I'll go, yep, that's him. Mm -hmm. But I can't, I can't think of what it is. It's so complicated. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't have been able to to name him either, I think. Yeah. But he was the captain. He was one of the best players on that team, probably. Probably the Spaniards are easier. Like Torres or one of the midfielders. Would Torres have won it though? That's the thing. Yeah, let's end with Fernando Torres. That's not correct. No, no, no El Nino. That's a shame. He um, was, I remember him being great in 2008, scored the final goal as well. But you know what? The Spaniards are actually 2008, Xavi, and 2012, yeah. Iniesta. That's so, so yeah, I, I, I should, should have, have just, just gone I with one of the midfielders, really. Boring midfield, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for one of them. And the Greek guy um, is Sagorakis with a Z. That's it. So, yeah, yeah. Sagorakis. Yeah. So I, I think that's a, that's a draw, right? Yeah, we draw the episode, which I don't think has happened, well, ever. There's a first for something. But yeah, some really good born on on show and uh, some different categories which I quite like like the awards based ones I've not really looked into a lot because I'm not I'm not a massive awards fan but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode make sure you check out Fiago great football content over on his channels drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time